Thank you for joining me for Simple Strength today. Today we're going to do a great set of exercises designed to increase your range of motion and we'll work, you up, work out with some weights here too. So grab your chair, this is completely seated today. Scooch on back, all the way back, so you can feel the back of the chair on the back of you. So scooch all the way back. Be careful on your shoulders, kind of stay in your own range of motion. But let's start just bringing your arms up. So we're going to take them up, palms facing each other, thumbs pointing back. You're going to make great friends with your thumbs today. Reach up as far as they'll go. And then come on back down nice and slow. Unwinding. Feel the shoulder blades against the wall, the back of the chair. And take the arms back as far as they'll go. Nice and slow. We're not swinging them. We're just gently bringing them up. Bring them in. Notice what feels right, what feels wrong. Careful on those shoulders. Take it up for two. We're both five. And down. Take it back. Pause back there. Come on back up for three. Feel the shoulders come up. Three. Nice and slow. It's actually more working going slow than there is going swinging it. Reaching up. Head down. Last one. Take it up. We're going to change direction. We're going to bring it up. Sweep it all the way up. Reach for the ceiling. And come on down halfway. And take it out wide. Check the shoulder blades. You can get the back against the chair again. Make sure you're smooshed there. Bring the arms out wide. And then bring them in again nice and slow. Thumbs pointing up. Thumbs together. And then take them out as far as they'll go. Take them back as far as the chair is going to let you. And then stop. Is two. And open. Sitting up nice and tall. It's great for the posture. And that proprioception that, yeah, knowing where you are in space there with the chair. Three. And four. And one more. Bring it in, take it out, reach it up, turn the palms over, palms facing up, reach up high, up overhead, palms together, as close as they'll come, bring it down, thumbs are pointing behind you, and down, just to shoulder height, give your arms a break if they're starting to get tight, this is the last series of five, then we'll do a little bit more on the arms, and we'll take a little break, it is two, Sweep it up, palms together. Three. Take it down. Breathing in, reaching up. Four. Exhale, palms still facing up. Come down, it's five. Let the arms go and just noodle them out. Give them a little break. Let's come jiggle them up, slosh them around. Okay. We're going to kind of add on to what we did. So we're going to start by coming up like we did. Bring it down nice and slow. Take it wide. Check the back. There's your shoulder blades against the chair. And in and up and out. So we just combine the first two movements. Take it out. Two and up. Three. Two more. Up, and out, and in, and up, and down. Take it down and let those arms go, just jiggling them out. And we're going to take them out, palms up, now face, no. <laughs> palms facing forward. Bring one arm over as far as it'll go. The other arm is against the chair, and then take it out. Stay with that same arm for five. Four, nice and slow, nice stretch in there. Three, take it across. Feel that shoulder blade. Two, should be talking to you by now. And in, coming across. One more, take it over. Staying in the range that's comfortable for your shoulder. Take that one over, give it a break. And sweep them back up. We gotta do the other side. 
the shoulders against the chair. Two, it's not lifting up. Three, four, that went fast. One more, and five, and down, and go. Okay, this time we're only losing one arm. We're gonna scoop up, so palm, thumb is facing back, palm is facing forward. Reach it up, all the way as if you're touching the ceiling, and then by the side bend, the opposite hand is going down. And turn the palm over. The palm is facing down, thumb is facing forward. Drop it down. Rotate that wrist or that shoulder. Palm is up, taking it high, and then into that side bend. It's two, we're still against the chair. Palms facing down as you go down. It's facing up as we go up. So get deep into the shoulders. So be careful, watch what's going on in there. Take it down. Three. One more. Then we're gonna do the other side. That's four. That's not one more. We're gonna do one more after that. Take it down. Palm is facing down. Scoop it up. Reach for the ceiling. Reaching as high as you can and then sliding it over, using that back of the chair for support and to give you awareness of where you are. Take it down. Sometimes we don't know what we're rounding. Same thing on the other side. Palm scoops up, reaches for the ceiling, and then bends over the side bend a little bit here. Turn the palm over and bring it down. And reach up two. Turn the palm down. Reach down, three, and up, and down, four, reach it up, take it to the side, and down, and five, there it is, take it up and over, find that side bend, Bring it back down. Give those arms a break. One more. We can do a little shoulders and shoulder. shoulders and knees. That's what we're gonna go. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. So we've done this at the gym. I'm sure we've done it here. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. So we'll take that arm from the bottom. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Is that crisscrossing? We want that to alternate. Knee, knee. So it's not. Shoulder, shoulder. See if you can get the arms to alternate. So actually, it's the top one. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. So you want the opposite arm to land. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. We're going to worry about it later. Crisscrossing the center line is all we need to do. Knee, knee. Bonus points. Take it out to the outside. If you're feeling like you got the space in the shoulders, great to open up the middle of the upper back. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Okay, last time. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. We're gonna take the top arm, or twisting in the direction of the opposite side. Take that top arm around behind you. First time the back is coming off the chair. And find a twist here. And then take it back across, bottom arm. Finds a twist on the opposite side. Take it over. And same thing, crisscross the knee. Look behind. Coming over to the knee. to the other side. That's to feel that stretch right there. Good work for your obliques. Three. Coming up, shoulders back. Four. We're probably off the back of the chair. That's fine. Four. Just be aware of where your shoulders are. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Both hip bones are on the chair. And ten. Reach down if you can to one side or to the front and grab your weights. Bring them up to your knees. Let's gauge a little bit forward. So you've got the thing, you know, caught the weights on your knees. And let's bring one knee up. And then the other. Just a little march. We haven't done a lot for the legs yet. So we're going to start with a little weighted work. Three. Four. Five. Keep those weights just below the knee. There's a little divot there. Eight, nine, and ten, or eleven. There about, see how this goes. So let's keep going. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's go to twenty, so each leg gets ten. Or yeah, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, slide those weights up. We're going to need them here in a minute. So you can leave them on your lap or slide them behind you. Depending on how far you are on the chair. So mine are behind me. Just want to make sure they're not going to roll off. There we go. All right, so we brought that leg up. We're going to take one leg up for 10. So let's one, see if you can bring it straight up. Two, three, four. Check and see that it's going straight up. Interesting. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Set that leg down. Wiggle it out a little bit. We take the same leg we just worked on and take it out for one and back. Two and back. Three. Three more. Eight. Nine. And ten. Get back to center. Wiggle them out. Let's go to the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Three. Two. And one, and set that leg down. Take it out to the side, work on those hips. Take it open, and closed, and open. It is two, and out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And one more is 10. Boom, we did it. All right, give them a little bit of wiggle. One more, just a little coordination drills right here. We're going to take one out and see if we take it over to the corner of the chair and then bring it in. So we're organizing it out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Bring it up nice and high, take it wide, bring it in and in, out, out. In, four, in, in, six, seven, and out, in, in, eight, nine, here we go, last one, take it wide, in, in, set it down, slosh it out, all right, scooch into the edge. Nice and tall. I'm going to use the back of the chair here, or the bottom seat, to kind of brace myself. We're going to bring that knee up, kick it out, bring it in and set it down. Same leg, 10 times. So bring it up, two, in, and down. Up, out, in, down, four, out, in, down, halfway down. Six, 
ish up out in down seven when you kick out gotta put your push your toes towards the ceiling and the heel down try and extend the legs so that the leg is flat the knee is not bent nine out and in and up out we're switching right over to the other side and down way up out in and down two three four toes back you can't really see it but the heel comes down so we're going to bring it in and alternate other leg goes down him yeah. toes go toward the ceiling you want to feel that stretch in the back of the leg a little work for the front a little heel dig so just taking it straight out toes towards the floor and bring it back in you can see get your back up so waist didn't fall and we're just alternating and we're going for 20 on this one so here we go one Two, three, four, five. Heel goes down, toes go up, leg gets long and straight. Seven, nine, ten, or eleven, twelve. We're seeing we're almost there. Two, sixteen, seventeen, leg straight. Eighteen. 19 and 20. Perfect. All right, so grab your weights. Maybe they're on the floor, maybe they're behind you. Scoot it in. Take them back to the knees, back where we started. And we're just going to bring the heels up. Just grab that little extra weight on there and then set it down. And up. And two. And up. Three. And down. Five. Down. Toes are up, or heels are up. Toes are down. A little push. Got a little extra weight. Sitting up tall, pull those shoulders back just like we did in the beginning. Two and one, and that is ten. Notice how those ankles feel, just keep going, just feels good. All right, with the weights here, take them and flip them over so the palm is up, back is straight, pull the shoulders back, and bring one up and down, and then the opposite one up. Keep the legs, or the legs, the arms kind of straight here, too. And down, three, arms are long, four, no, four, and down, five, and down, six, elbows in nice and tight and turn the weights up bring them up a little bit so the elbows are in and we're just going to open them out don't move the elbows just keep just the arms the wrists start moving we're rotating from the shoulders opening up that upper chest pulling the sh uh, shoulder blades together in the back four aren't moving, elbows aren't moving, it's all coming from the shoulder. Rest. All 
And if you've got happy shoulders, we're going to take them up and push it straight up. One, come back to the shoulder. Two, this one arm is getting a rest. Bring it down. Three. Shoulder, this is getting, getting heavy. Seven, just going to ten. Eight, give me the rest in a second. Nine, all right, here we go. The last one, take it up, bring it down, give that arm a rest. Kind of wiggle them out, grab the other one, pull it up to your shoulder, and reach up, straight up. One, reach for the ceiling. Three, that back nice and straight and tall. We don't want to be leaning forward and doing extra work. Five. Halfway there. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And down. And set that down. Alright. Gonna turn a little bit sideways here. Almost done. Keeping it back. Take it back and just bring it halfway to your hip. Not all the way up. Take it back. Two, nice and slow. Little tricep work. Three. Bring it in. Four. center. Ooh, scooch around on the other side. Let's do the other side. Same thing. We bring it to the hip. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway there. Six. done. Wiggle it out. Roll it back. Bring the elbows in. We're going to do the wrist curls. Always love to do these. So good for grip strength. Elbows are in. We're setting up nice and tall. We're just rolling the wrist. Bring it in and then take it out. Rest the arms not working. Just the wrist. Down two. Two more. Nine. And ten. Ooh, take it out. Set them down. And just wiggle those arms out. I thought I'd be tired. All right, just to kind of unwind anything that got caught up in the back and the shoulders. We're going to take that arm into a twist. Make sure your back is nice and tall. Pull the shoulders back. And before you twist. Once you twist, you get in there, feel what's going on in the little back. Look behind you. Feel a great stretch. Come back to center. We're going to slide both hands down into a forward fold and then we twist on the other side. So you're sitting up nice and tall, shoulders are back. We're hinging from the hips and just leaning in, like looking up at the ceiling. Look at that place where the ceiling meets the wall. Bring the belly button down first. And bring the chest down. And just drink in, down, over it. Find that place where the stretch is. It doesn't matter where it is, as long as you feel it coming up out of the hips, all the way up to the neck. You can tuck the chin, you get a little forest work. And then slide the hands back up. Take it across to the opposite side for one twist on this side. Again, nice and tall back. Turn. 
and twist. Both hips are sitting nicely on the chair. Now twist that one hip cranked up. Back to center. Let's take another forward fold. Again, same thing, lowering down. The belly button comes down first. We're looking up at the ceiling and the wall. Coming down. Back the chin around the back and let it all just hang down. Just relax into it. Hook it under the chair. And then come back up. Tuck the chin and let the hips come up first. We're going to kind of round our way up. Bring it up. Bring your heart forward. The arms back. And we're going to repeat that. Kind of tilt the hip. Okay. Um, can't cow, yeah. Tuck it around the back, tuck the chin. <laughs> Bring it up. Pull those shoulders back, bring the heart forward, look up at the ceiling. Take a big breath. Exhale, round the back and tuck it in. And then open it out. Heart comes forward, look up at the ceiling, two. One more. Take it in, round the back. And up, last time, look up at the ceiling. Drop those hands down. Let them go. Let's sweep the arms up. Reach up overhead. Grab one hand and the other. We're going to do a little side bend here. Maybe take one arm or the other. And then come back to center and change the cross of the hands. If that's not available, if your shoulders are weak or not feeling it, we can easily do the same diagonal here and just kind of reach down on the opposite side. It's actually the same motion. Different placement of the hand. Same motion of the hand. And come up. Where were we? Rift you over. There's always a way to modify to get the same muscle. Or a similar muscle. Either one. Coming back up. Interlace the fingers. Push them away. We'll look up at the ceiling. Find the back bend at the top. Exhale. Let them go. There we go. We did it. That was a lot of work. Thanks for joining me.